animal feed plants are under threat. Environmental challenges, increasing demands for human food, urbanization, pollution and land degradation are all squeezing out the vital hardy fodder and forage plants that have until now allowed half a billion poor people in developing countries to keep livestock. Faced with an uncertain future, fodders and forages may become the only resource that poor stock keepers can afford that will help them adapt to climate and other changes. This dramatic loss of plant diversity, including fodders and forages, is one of the greatest challenges facing sustainable development today and is threatening livelihoods of the poor. A gene bank maintained by the International Livestock Research Institute, ILRI, in Ethiopia is part of a global effort to help save animal and feed plant diversity before it is too late. ILRI is conserving and studying animal feed crops to help ensure future food supplies. The 18,000 seed and plant samples held in trust in the ILRI gene bank are tested to help scientists deliver appropriate fodders and forages for millions of poor milk and meat producers. The options scientists are generating through this research help small farmers adapt quickly to their changing local environments and markets. In the future, Weather is set to become more and more extreme, increasing many causes of land degradation. Climate change also means that forage and fodder crops as well as human food crops will face new disease challenges. Everyone will be affected worldwide. The genes ILRI scientists are investigating now may provide resistance to drought, disease, or salinity not only for feed plants but also in maize, rice and other cereal crops that much of the world depends on. Along with other members of the consultative group on international agricultural research, ILRI is storing copies of its vast seed collections in Norway's Valbard Global Seed Vault. In January 2008, it reshipped 4,000 samples of tropical fodders and forages to Svalbard for its February opening. These samples will be a safety backup for Ilri's collection of African livestock feed plants, the largest and the most diverse in the world. Participation in the project is part of Ilri's commitment to the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. The benefits are universal. Fodder and forages that now feed cattle belonging to poor farmers could one day help reduce poverty or starvation for everyone.